two practical private university from Poland. Uh, maybe you heard about them, Warsaw University of Business and Warsaw University of Humanities. Both of these universities, they are very practical private university. The big difference between private university and public university in Poland is that the private university take care of the students. So that's what I'm doing here. So uh, let me begin my presentation, guys. I will share my uh, screen with you and I will begin our uh, presentation. So today we will meet, uh, we meet to have a conversation. I came here to give you uh, some of information, some of the benefits becoming from studying Poland, uh, why Poland it's become popular for Indian students, uh, the, uh, the case of the visa application and the work, uh, work cases during the studies. I'll tell you everything during our meeting today, during with the webinar. So let's begin. Uh, the Poland in a short, so uh, the, you probably heard about the Poland. Obviously it's Poland, not Poland. That's the first big difference between this. Uh, so official name of Poland, it's Republic of Poland. In short, it's Polska, Poland. Uh, we are located in uh, Central Europe uh, and basically all of the European countries, the, uh, our neighbors, call Poland the heart of the European Union because we are exactly located in the uh, Central Europe. From every side of our country, we have the neighbors, starting from Belarus, Czech Republic, Germany, Latvia, Russia. Slovakia, Ukraine, all of them, they are exactly around of our country. So that's why we are in the middle and they call us heart of the European Union. Uh, our main language is the Polish language, uh, but you don't need to worry about anything in the, this case because everyone in Poland is speaking. We are part of the European Union. So wherever you go in Warsaw or in a different city, you will find someone who can help you, to, who can support you to find a way or give some instruction how to do, what to do and everything. So I mean the communication between the Polish people and international students, it's easy because Polish people can speak English and they are very helpful for international people. Capital city of Poland, it's Warsaw, is the city where both of our universities are located. This is the greatest city in our country, which gives you the biggest number of possibilities, opportunities during the studies to find a job, a uh, part-time job after studies, to stay here uh, and have a great life. This is Warsaw. This is the place where you can uh, study and it's one of the greatest city in this country. We have beautiful cities where you can find as well the universities like Gdańsk or Krakow, Łódź, Poznań, Wrocław. There's many of them. They are beautiful as well, but only Warsaw because it's capital city. Give you the biggest number of opportunity about everything or uh, about, I don't know, when you'll be uh, looking to stay after your studies, uh, here you can easily find a well-payment job. The companies will take care of the work permit. So there's many, many good things becoming from study in Warsaw. Population of our country is just 38 million. Uh, regarding to the Indian standards, like the biggest number of the cities in India, also this is like a, well, like a kind of village actually regarding to the Indian standards. But for Poland, 38 million, it's quite a lot of people. The number of the people that's still growing up, Poland become more popular for uh, international students, for companies who are coming to opening the branches in Poland. So uh, we are super fast developing country. We are basically third, the fastest development country in the Europe Union. So it's really nice here. What I wish you probably ask yourself why you should study in Poland, why, why it's a uh, so good place for study. So the Poland uh, got very rich education history. It was the first university in Poland was established in the 14th century. So back to the time, you can see that uh, in Poland, we have more than 600 years of experience to preparing and teaching the students. Uh, this university was Jagiellonski University, public university in Poland. And also that was one of the first university in Europe and one of the first in the world as well. Uh, Poland gives you the chance to have a high quality uh, European degree in a very reasonable price. 
uh, in a very reasonable cost of the living. Uh, you have a connecting also because when you're coming to Poland, you are obviously getting the European Schengen visa, which can give you access to 26 different countries around the, of the world. Uh, around of the Europe, I'm so sorry. Uh, so you can basically visit these countries uh, during the studies, after studies, uh, because the students, during one academic year, you will have two breaks. One break, it's a winter break, which take around two weeks. Uh, and another, uh, another break is, um, uh, is in summer, which take more than three months. So during this time, you can easily explore, visit different cities, uh, and uh, different cities in Europe, different countries, check the culture there, and after that, come back to continue the studies. Because the Poland is also the cheapest country in all of the European Union. You will ask me why. Our, we get our own currency, which is PLN. We are, don't have a currency, our currency is not Euro. So that's why this country is the cheapest country in the European Union regarding to the tuition fee for the university, regarding to the cost of the living. What uh, we can propose you guys on our university? So we got three types of studies. So we got the bachelor degree, we got the master degree, and we got one year postgraduate MBA. Uh, about the bachelor degree, we got the bachelor of management, bachelor of logistics, national security, photography, journalism, and pedagogy on master studies. So we got the national security, and also we got the one year postgraduate MBA. You will tell, ask me, of, of course, after the presentation, why, if it's Master of Business Administration, why take only one year, two semesters? Because the difference between university, uh, the MBA in our university and different university, like let's say in the UK, uh, here, regarding to the Bologna system, which is in Europe, MBA in Poland take only one year because this is like a postgraduate studies, which give you only after graduation, give you the MBA certificate, which is acceptable and recognizable around of the world. But for normal studies, a normal MBA, master studies, you got two years because when you graduate, you will get title of master and MBA certificate. But on our MBA, we're just preparing you during this one hard work year. This is very practical year. You'll get a lot of practical knowledge to be, uh, to be ready after one year to find a well payment job. And uh, to uh, have a uh, to have a great uh, place to study uh, to live and to work. So these studies are for those who already got kind of experience, but they want to just move for one year to Poland, get more practical knowledge from European side, and after one year to start working in Poland. So this kind of studies are for you. The rest are basically they're available for everyone who want to study. But the, I just give you an example of the people who are choosing our MBA. So these people are coming to, uh, to just start work after one year and it's not so hard to get a job with MBA certificate. Uh, when I told you that the tuition fee is very reasonable, now you can observe this, you can see this on your own. For bachelor and master studies, the cost of the entry fee is 100 euro, and the one year tuition fee is 2,900 euro. Cost of MBA one year, it is a little bit more expensive because it's much more practical uh, than the rest of the um, master or bachelor studies. So that's why the cost of it, it's like 100 euro and 3,800 euro is at the cost of the whole studies because it's only one year. So that's why it's yearly payment. Uh, before our tuition fee was 3,400 euro for bachelor and master studies, but we decided to reduce this tuition fee uh, to uh, 2,900 euro because the COVID-19 touched everyone. So also in Poland, we used to have this situation, but this right now, I can easily tell you that the situation changed. This is much more easier right now in Poland. We don't, we are not wearing masks. You can see right now, I'm not wearing the mask. We are just wearing masks when we go to the public transport or when we go inside of some buildings. The rest, we don't need to. And also another great point is that you for sure will be able to join the October intake because the prime minister of Poland, he officially said that the 
from 1st of the October, the students are coming back to the campuses, they are coming back to the buildings of the university to study there. And he said also, even the COVID-19 back will situation back in, in autumn, he will not close the universities anymore. They, they said that the government is already prepared for this kind of situation. So uh, you can expect that when you will be applying, you can easily receive the visa and you'll be able to join university for October intake and study in campus of the university, not online studies. So that is actually pretty cool uh, information. And that was like a two or three days ago that he gave his official uh, official information, so you got to confirm about this. Uh, accommodation. Basically, our students, um, they are not living in a dormitory. Uh, I am, I, when you look at me, I'm just 23 years old guy, uh, and I'm studying journalism on this university as well. And I used to live uh, in a uh, dormitory in Poland. It's basically look that is one room for four or five people. There's a bathroom where you need to share with 10 people. So this is not exactly what our students expect. So what we prepare, our students are living in a high quality flats in a city center and around mostly single rooms, sometimes double. And then the flats got like a three, four rooms. Uh, you're gonna share the rooms and the flats just only with our students. If you'll be looking to stay with just with your friends, with students from India, we can arrange for this. On the university, basically, we got uh, 2,000 students, include international students and, um, and Polish students. Uh, about uh, international students, we got around 350 international students on this moment. The number of the students obviously is growing up. The number of the countries where we, our students become from, it's also growing up. On this moment, we had students from more than 27 countries, different countries around of the world, starting from Africa, from Asia, from Middle East, even from Latin America as well. So when you're gonna live is you have your own room the cost of the accommodation It's approximately starts from 200 euro a month, but obviously it depend on uh, It's depend on the localization and the uh, quality of the flat because Some of the flat they are extremely new like a like a really new like an apartment apartment or like a five-star hotel something like that So that they will be available of course, but they will be a little bit more expensive But we got also nice quality rooms which starts from 200 euro the flats are full equipment Everything is there in a kitchen in a bathroom where everywhere you need something there is And there's also one person who is taking care of the flat from the company So whatever if nothing will happen you can always contact that people and they will come to your flat and support you on the university we have also the career office because not everyone wanna after some time still stay in the same flat so if you are looking for a changing apartment you'll be looking for support with the Polish language during the renting apartment or any way of support you will be looking for you can always come to the university to our career office where is one of my friends who is sitting there and he's supporting our students in with the accommodation, with looking for the flat. So there is basically many ways how we can take care of you guys. Uh, I didn't mention it before, but uh, my father is owner of the university. So this university is like a one big family. It's like a family business. And you can believe me that we really take care of each other. The point is that I really wanna be sure that my students are okay, they are safety and everything is fine during the studies. So that's why you shot, have all of you. Casper, you are the big shot, you are the, your father owns the school. That's something, you know, which is add an advantage to my students. What? what? Since your father owns, we, we, our students can get some special scholarship. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we already reduced the tuition fees since like a 500 euro till 2,900 euro. Uh, but of course, we have a scholarship program on the university and it's look like this. After first year of your studies on the university, after first year of bachelor degree or the master degree, uh, you'll be able to get the rector scholarship for best students. It means that based on your record card from first year of your studies, you can apply for the scholarship. Uh, to be honest, 80% of my students got this scholarship. Uh, so without any problems, you can get it as well. And you'll be able to get like 150 euro a month for your bank account. And there is no requirements what you need to spend it for. So it's, uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, because this 150 euro almost uh, 
almost can cover your accommodation fee. So then you don't need to worry about this. But basically, when I skip here, I will tell you about the public transport a little bit, but then I will tell you about the work because this is quite interesting in Poland as well. So uh, back to the public transport, Warsaw got the best public transport in whole of the Poland because of the one thing. Poland got underground, uh, underground subway stations everywhere in Warsaw. So the communication between our university and the place where you're gonna stay and live, it will be just extremely super fast during the metro. We also had lots of buses, trams, uh, city trains, fast city trains. So there is many ways of uh, communication. And also when you are coming to Poland, when you become a student, you get your student ID card. And with this, you got like a 50% discounts for public transport. Next to the university, like a two minutes by walk from the entry to the university is subway station. So to be honest, wherever you're gonna live in Warsaw, you can always fast and easy join the university for classes and everything. When you have a, when you have a Google Maps, Uncle Google always help you to find a way, even if you don't know how to use the public transport in Poland, the Google always support you in this way. But if you wanna see on your own, basically how it's look like, I recommend you to, after the webinar, please go on a YouTube and pray and put their Warsaw Smart City. And then there's like a video in English where you can check how look the public transport in Warsaw and generally the many, many good information about this city and benefits becoming from living here, studying here and everything. What you'll be looking for, you can probably find in this movie. Working Warsaw. So this, uh, this point can be, might be very interesting for some of you guys. Uh, because the students can work legally during the studies. They can work more than 20 hours legally during the studies. So without any problems, you'll be able to find a job. Because in Poland, all of the companies, they are looking for people who got the status of the student. So if you come to Poland for studies, you have a status of the student. So then when you'll be looking for a job, no problem, because the companies are paying much more lower taxes for uh, people, for workers who are uh, got the status of the student. So without any problems. What I recommend you guys from my side, I know there's like a many people are choosing the driving like a Uber driver, boat driver, taxi driver. So what I recommend you guys to do, if you got a driving license, just make your driving license for international driving license and you can become a driver in Poland. Many Indian students are doing this way because the work is very flexible. Uh, you can start wherever you want, you can finish your work whenever you want. So this is very flexible. But of course, the students can easily find a job in a restaurants, shopping malls, shopping assistant, cafeteria, uh, bars, uh, I don't know, gyms, whatever you want to go. It depends, of course, uh, on your skills. But basically, uh, I'll give you my example. Uh, my first year of studies, I used to study on a public university. Uh, PS. That's why I know the public university are not good in Poland. But all in all, I used to study on a public university one year, and during one year of studies, I used to have like a five different uh, type of job during just one year. You can switch it, you can change it, no problem. I used to work like a driver, I used to work like a waiter, I used to work like a barman, I used to work on a gym, and I used to work in a club. So it's depend on you, and uh, you can easily find a well payment job. Uh, the, the monthly payment, the minimum salary for a for part-time job for the student is 500 euro. The total living cost per month for a student is around 600 euro. So you can imagine that during the studies, when you find a job, you can, uh, your monthly payment can pretty sure that can cover your living costs. So then after that, you don't need to ask your family for support. You can be much more independent which is like a very important for some students uh, because being like a depend on someone, depend on your family, just waiting for money who they are sending to you. I know some of, <clears throat> it can be interesting for, it can be possible uh, for some of you, but some of you family are not able to support you a lot. So without any problems on the career office, we will support you guys to find a job and then you can take care of yourself on your own. 
uh, students' life. So uh, students, we are actually the huge group uh, of people in Poland. We have a lot of rights. So, you know, if someone will tell you that, oh, maybe Polish students got rights, but international, no, no, it's not working like this. We are the same students. You are a student, I'm a student. So in Poland, we are respected by everyone. You are a bigger group of the people, so they respect us. We are giving the discounts for public transport, what I mentioned before, 50% discounts for this. We also getting lots of discounts for uh, culture stuffs like uh, visiting the museum, theaters, cinemas, uh, Philharmony, or any way of culture. It's also huge discounts. If you are interested in art, uh, gal art galleries, modern art galleries, basically every type of galleries, there are also the big discounts for you guys as well. Uh, even the student ID card from Poland, they are also uh, acceptable. The discounts in a different countries, in Europe, for example. But not every country got some such kind of big discounts, like for example in Poland. But still, with the student ID card from Poland, you can expect some discounts when you be travel uh, for, for travel to the different European city. Uh, here I've got like a few photos of our students. Uh, basically, on our university, we are preparing the group of the students, like a 25 people, 30 people in one group, because we are very practical university. So we are making the specially smaller group to make students get a much more knowledge during the studies. Uh, because if you got a group 100 people during one classes, there's one professor who is coming and he got only one and a half hour for 100 people. So he got enough time for one classes to personally say hello and goodbye. Uh, to every each student. So we make a smaller group to uh, give you opportunity to increase number of your knowledge. To, if you got something in your mind deeply, what you want to solve, you can always contact with the professors. The professors are quite young. So we are choosing the young professors uh, because they're having classes with the super extremely old guys who don't have any way to communicate with young people, it is hard. So we got lots of uh, very, uh, very young people with a lot of experience, people who got their own companies, people who are working in a high position, like a managers of the bank in Poland. This kind of people we teach you. But you also can expect classes with the important people in our country, in Europe Parliament as well. Uh, because if you see on a photo with the flags, in the middle of the photo, you will see the guy who is standing uh, next to the lady in a pink t-shirt. This guy, he's professor on our, he's professor on our university, and he's Europe Parliament member. He's basically the chancellor of the Europe Union. He got the classes with our students, and the place where the photo was uh, took, he was in a Brussels. He invited our students to come to Brussels to see the Europe Parliament and get the private classes, especially there, especially for our students. So this opportunity which we can uh, offer to our students, what we can arrange for our students, I'm pretty sure there is not a big number of university in my country who can arrange the same things. Uh, another thing you will see, the, another photos, uh, on the left side you will see the two guys who are like uh, almost sitting. This guy, one of them, the, uh, the bold one, he is the ambassador of Denmark in Warsaw. He invited all of our students, uh, he invited a group of our students for a private classes uh, with the uh, subject international relations. Uh, he gave a speech about the international relations between, based on the relation Poland and Denmark interesting classes and you can believe me that there is not opportunity for different students that the ambassador of some country can invite students for special classes to the embassy so our professors can arrange this but different not really on the right side you will see exactly the guy in the middle uh, standing in the front of the Europe flag he is the Polish parliament member and he is uh, he arranged this kind of visiting uh, as well in the place where there's the, the two the photo was took uh, that is the place where Elizabeth II was Donald Trump was there Merkel was there so the most important people around of the world was meeting with the president of Poland in this place and our students could sit there basically this place is not allowed to join to for anybody even for me i was first time because i took this photo and that was my first time before i see this place only in the tv <laughs> yeah, 
That's why you should be, you should you should keep my picture. Where is my picture, buddy? Ah, your picture will be will be. We have to we have to we have to update our picture with this. I know, I know. <laughs> I didn't go to Mumbai. Oh, long time I wasn't in Mumbai, but I definitely need to change the point of this. Yeah, exactly. uh, I just show this photo because on the left side you can observe the lady. She's 65 years old lady. She's from Vietnam and she studied bachelor degree of management. She's one of my best students. She got the government scholarship, what I mentioned after first year of studies, she's getting this scholarship. I just show this photo uh, to tell you guys that if you are thinking that you are too old uh, or there is any age limit on our university, so when you see this photo, I'm pretty sure that the answer is our obvious answer for the question about the age limit of the university. There is no age limit. So that's how it looked like. Uh, the, the visa process is quite now will be much more easier situation with India uh, because we got the research with the for, uh, Ministry of Foreigner Efforts in Poland. Big number of people, they uh, go out from Poland right now. So uh, we also contact with the embassies of Poland in, uh, in India, in Delhi and Mumbai. And we got some kind of not official information that uh, the success of visa should be higher than it was before. There's less number of people many people come back to their countries so for those students who are interested to join our university and go through the smoothie the visa process so for sure the the contact the college day my great friend Santos he is there on the right course side uh, you can always contact him he will provide a great services for you we cooperate since long time and I'm pretty sure that together with him we'll be able to arrange guys you uh, uh, you're coming to Poland, uh, visa application and everything. I forgot to mention in the tuition fee of the university, we will provide services like pickup from the airport. Uh, we will help you to exchange money outside of the airport, not in a, in a city center, but not in the airport. We will help you to register and buy the SIM card. Uh, because you need to contact the family that the mom, that I'm okay. <laughs> uh, and also we will bring you to your accommodation office where you can choose on your own uh, the, the room which will be available. After that, we will bring you there. No extra charges for this kind of services. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I give a lot of information and uh, if there is like a, some kind of question with pleasure, I will answer all of them. Okay, Kasper, I have some questions. Uh, uh, I have a question from uh, Mr. Deepak. Deepak, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Yes, Deepak, please go ahead. You had some question related to uh, cost of living. Please go ahead and ask. So my basic question was like the cost of living, which I explored over the internet and uh, I found that it's a uh, costly as comparison to another European countries. So please help me with that. And I have also uh, shared my details. Like I am a graduate uh, guy who, uh, like I have completed my graduation in 2005 and then two years uh, PGDBA from uh, Symbiosis Center of Distance Learning in 2009. And my all studies are in English. So uh, am I eligible for MBA program? So yes, of, of, of course. The, the, the point of joining the MBA is like a, you need to graduate from the bachelor degree. Right? It's like a, if you want to join, this is like a, something more than bachelor, right? Like so that. what we need for MBA requirements, we need the bachelor degree uh, plus transcript because you are like a, you are become from India, so your documents are full in English, so we don't need the translation. We need the scan of the passport uh, and here. We from university side, we know that the India is like a full English, obviously it's like a, a English language country, uh, but we don't require IELTS from our side, but we know the embassy requirement the IELTS. So IELTS 5.0, 5.5 just it's enough max it's totally enough for us we just uh, i just recommend you because you when you apply for a visa in embassy you should submit some certificate of english so so that's why we recommend you uh to to do this and i'm pretty sure that when you contact with the college day they have a lot of contacts in india they can help you uh to join and pass the the ielts score uh, the ielts test and everything will be okay. Am I right, Santos? Yes, Casper, uh, uh, you're absolutely right. So I'm just rephrasing what Casper has said. So in order to get the admission, you does not require the IELTS. 
but however deepak uh, you know for the visa purpose it's better to take so that you know it improves your chances of uh, approval exactly and uh, second thing what he has is uh, casper so he's telling that uh, he explored uh, several countries in europe and he feels that you know poland cost of living is little bit high so i just wanted you to talk on that so that you know uh, so he will get a clarity uh, okay so uh, example I, i just know a few countries who don't have a euro basically the countries who don't have a euro like a currency uh, it's much more cheaper than the rest uh, so uh, czech republic it's a very similar price to the poland uh, uh, to be honest i'm li i used to live like a student i paid for my dormitory uh 200 euro and then like a student yeah obviously it depends what kind of uh life you are expecting during the studies uh if you have a lot of parties and and spending a lot of money for everything obviously the cost of the living will be much more higher but if you pay for your accommodation just focus on your studies uh have some fun and food and everything uh, approximately 6 700 euro uh, per month it's enough what, I'm, what I based on. So when you apply for a visa, you just need to show the bank balance uh, to the embassy, where you need to show that you have at least six or 7,000 euro uh, to cover one year of living cost in Poland. The studies, uh, term of studies is like a 10 months. So when you count six or 7,000 7, euro slash 10 months, you have six, 700 euro per month. So my calculation is based on uh, information with requirements of money from the embassy plus the timing of the studies when you count it. Sounds good, uh, uh, pretty much, Kasper. I have one more question from uh, Anshul. Uh, let me, hello, Anshul. Anshul, are you there? Yes, I am here, sir. Please go ahead, Anshul, want... with your question. Uh, can I jump in, sir? Hello, can I speak? Yes, yes, I'm sure. Go ahead. Uh, it's like that. I have done my master's from UK, and now I'm planning to do master's in hospitality. Can I do? Uh, you, what you After did he did his master's, so he wanted to do the ma uh, master's again. So can he be able to do double master's? Of course, I don't see any problem with this. Okay. If you are, he he just seems like a person who are looking for some knowledge. So. With pleasure, I would just like a join our university. Okay. I will provide lots of knowledge for you, my brother. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. So I have to do IELTS. Basically, uh, you used to study in UK, right? Yes, yes. Uh, also, UK is like a language, uh, English language card, obviously. But uh, I recommend to do this. Basically, I, okay. I don't requirement this, and we can apply for you without this. It is possible that you will receive your visa without. But okay. do we have to take the risk, to be honest, that because the, the process of the visa is like it takes some time and uh, it will be quite, of, you know, stupid a little bit if you someone will reject, even you can speak English, but you don't have a just paper. So I truly, truly recommend you to join the exams of IELTS, do the IELTS and I, what I said, 5.0, 5.5 is totally enough. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Pleasure. Pleasure is always mine. Thanks, Anshul. So I have a next question you, from uh, Mr. Uh, Anwar Ali. Anwar, are you there? Oh, I forgot to mention one thing before oh, someone is asking. Uh, in a case of the reject, obviously the tuition fee is refundable. Okay. That's what I forgot to tell you guys, but this is important for you, of course, information. In a case of the refund, uh, in a case of the reject, the tuition fee is refundable. Uh, we just need to get information from the college day that if you got reject, they will provide the reject letter for us. We will send the refund form. You will put information. And in two or three weeks, university will refund your money to your bank account. So you don't need to worry that what if I will be reject that, how long I will take for waiting for my money. No worrying, we got a very high policy of refund and uh, the, you don't have to wait a long time for your refund. We are working very fast. Yeah. I have a one question from Anwar Ali. What is the duration of visa process? So probably he might be asking what is the validity of visa, I believe. So if you can talk on the validity of the visa and uh, permanent residency, that will be great, Casper. 
Okay, uh, how, how long it will take to apply for the visa? It's, it's, it's hard to say right now because I don't know how is the, look, the situation in no, India. No, uh, Kashmir, his question is uh, how long the student get the visa? Uh, for one year. Students yeah. are getting, first of all, they are getting the visa for one year. When they are coming to Poland, uh, they, uh, they don't need to, after one year when the visa will go, expire soon, you don't need to guys back, back to India and apply one more time for a visa. Uh, in, uh, in our university, uh, signed a contract with one of the agency who is arranging the TRC cards, temporary resident card, uh, for our students. They are doing great service. They got 95% of success of TRC. And when you come to Poland with one year visa, when you apply for a TRC card, for example, let's say bachelor degree, you came for in October date, let's say, uh, after half year you apply for the uh, DRC card, uh, you, it is possible that you get your TRC card for next two years. For, so for le, le, rest of the timing of your bachelor degree. Uh, so basically it's possible to get a TRC for one, two, and sometimes three years. And we are helping and we are arranging all of the process with this. When your visa will expire, you just come to us, uh, say that uh, my visa will expire soon and you are looking for uh, some, uh, some kind of support uh, with extension of your visa. Then we will provide you the contact details, we will arrange the meeting with the agency and they will tell you exactly what to do, how to do, and they will help you with applying for TRC. Okay, now I have uh, Mr. Prasad, please go ahead with your question. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to understand what specializations are available in MBA program, the one year program. Uh, our MBA one year program is like a typical general MBA. Uh, it's like a, okay. there's no kind of specialization generally, uh, but for sure we, we put like a many, many different, like uh, we try to make our uh, MBA very interesting for the students. So during the studies, there's not only focus on the business and administration. We put a lot of from human resource. Uh, we put also the manage the crisis where classes. We put the, uh, da, 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 the the loss structure of the European Union. So uh, basically, it's general MBA without the specialization, but it's hundred percent different than typical MBA. I don't know how I can you. explain it like uh, more specific. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, more, that's, yeah. Uh, thank you. As on my side. Yes, please, uh, please go ahead. I don't see the name of the person. It says Galaxy JH. Please go ahead, Galaxy JH. Hello. Yes, please. Hello. Hello, I'm Habibullah. I'm from Afghanistan. Uh, but already I'm studying in India, BBA course. Uh, next July, I will graduate my degree program. I want uh, going to Poland, uh, I will start in uh, master degree, MBA. What should I do? But I don't have IELTS exam. Please okay, in the case of the IELTS, in the case of the IELTS, as I mentioned, when you go and uh, go there, uh, because with support of my uh, friend Santos from the college day, uh, if you don't have an IELTS, you can contact with the college day. They will provide you information. They will help you, support you uh, to do the IELTS test because this is a truly, truly, truly necessary when you apply for a visa. From our side, we totally understand that this is English countries and we don't need it, truly but the embassy needed. So the definitely, if you don't want to be rejected or you, if you don't want to be disappointed about your visa process, just be sure that everything is correct. Do this IELTS and just wait for your visa. Without IELTS is not possible. Uh, without, uh, we can, of course, I will, I will give you admission with my friend, we will give you admission, but I cannot promise you that you will receive the visa. Yeah, your friend also told to us, and uh, he said, in without IELTS, is, is it possible from India? Uh, you sharing, he, he said to, uh, to me, you sharing to us, and uh, your um, school certificate or your uh, degree certificate, and without IELTS uh, in Poland, is it possible? Uh. Everything is possible, but uh, that what I said uh, uh, for visa application, the IELTS is it's totally necessary. Uh, if you don't have an IELTS, uh, you, I don't want to say that you have no chance, but the chances are very low for the visa. Of course, there's many universities who is working same like me, 
uh, who was like accepting the students without the IELTS. But I don't want to be like this kind of people who will like promise you that without IELTS I can accept you. But after that, I'm sure, almost sure that you will not receive the visa because of this one point, no IELTS. So yeah. I don't wanna. So I don't wanna do use this way. And after that, I don't wanna make my students, the my candidate, disappointed. <laughs> no, you select to us that university. So that university you don't require an IELTS. Yes, Habib. The university does not require the IELTS, but obviously the uh, visa for the visa, it's good to have. Uh, the IELTS so that you know it increases your chance of approval. So for the admission, the university does not require the IELTS. Yes. Yeah, you also insist that uh, one letter. And there is one more question. Uh, they want to know about the spouse visa as well. Can you just explain something about spouse visa? About, uh, can you repeat please? My 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 voice like yeah like it sounds weird like about the okay, dependent visa. Me? Yeah, it's about the dependent visa. So how does it work? Oh, I'm not sure that I, I got your point. I, I I'm not sure that I know what is dependent visa. No, mm -hmm. Casper, if the has if the wife or kids or if the husband or the, if the girlfriend or anybody wants. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, to, to be to be honest, uh, uh, how does it help for the family? I mean, if they have to take their spouse or the family, how does it work? Can you just explain about uh, it? Without the kid, or if it's husband and wife, uh, that's kind of possible. Let's say that the husband applied for a work permit, visa permit in Poland, and a wife is expelled, they go for a study. It might be work. But if there's someone got a kiddo and both of the parents plus kiddo wanna go out even for studies, even a paid, everything is correct, I'm pretty sure that it's impossible. There's like a kind of the way for the embassy information that it. Uh, it's not like a hundred percent runaway, but it might be part like in there and like a, something might be wrong. So like a whole family in the same time. So uh, I'm not recommend this way because this is like a uh, very risky. This is I'm not saying this is impossible. Of course, everything is possible. What I said, but this this way using is like a very very risky. There's like a few percent of chance that the the, the council will uh, approve. The visa for this kind of family or something. All right, got it. Thanks. Any more questions? Hello, <clears throat> Mr. Santosh. Hello. Yes, yes. Yeah, we can hear you, please. Hello. Casper, uh, we have another question here. Sure. Germany needs uh, 13 years of education for bachelor's, whereas India has only 12 years of education. How do we go about this? Uh, we also need the 12 classes. After 10 classes, the students cannot apply for the bachelor degree. Need to be 12 classes. Okay. Uh, because this is like a uh, no chance for visa. If it's ten classes and applying for a bachelor, this is like a hundred percent reject in the beginning. Anybody else have any questions to ask? You can either drop a message. Yes, uh, Habib, go ahead, please. I see Habib oh, raising uh, hand. Yes, Habib. Which country? Which country is uh, without IELTS? We can apply to that um, for MBA program. Habib, this is specifically for Poland. We'll talk about other countries later. This is specifically oh. about the Poland. Yes, yes Samyuddin, please go ahead. Hello? Yes, Samyuddin, go ahead. Hello, sir. I am asking what is the total fees of the entire MBA? 
Uh, we can hardly hear you. Sorry. Can you please type it, Samyuddin? We can't hear you properly. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you talk a bit louder, please? Because we can Hello? hardly hear you. Hello. Hello. Can you drop a message in a chat box? We will read out the question. Already put a message, ma'am. Yes, Harpal, uh, I guess Harpal, Harpal Singh, please go ahead, Harpal Singh. Okay, there is a question uh, from Samyuddin. What is the fee for the entire course of MBA? What is the cost, the, the fee, how, how much is the fee for MBA? Yeah. Okay, the cost of the MBA is 3,800 euro plus 100 euro is the registration fee. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys that, that uh, what? Can you repeat Santos? Because I didn't hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Yes, Mr. Harpal, go ahead and ask your question, please. Okay, uh, hello sir. Uh, my name is Harpal Singh and uh, I'm a physical education teacher and I want to become a master in Poland. So is there any criteria for age? Like I'm 38 right now. No criteria, no age limit. As I, as okay. I show you the photo guys, if you read on the presentation, I show the last photo. Okay. I got the oldest oh. student. It's 65 mm -hmm. years old lady. Oh wow, that's good, sounds good. So I have also motivated from yeah. your answer. Without any problems, we have a student on MBA from Vietnam, and the lady, she's like a 43 one years more old thing. lady. Okay. So there is no age limit, there is no barrier. Our university is open for everyone. So okay. feel free to apply. Okay, there is a master course in physical education or in a sports management like that? This is like a postgraduate MBA, but we got also the, on this moment, we got typical master studies from national security, specialization in human resource in a security sector. Uh, but we are waiting for a license from Ministry of Education for typical master MBA studies. But on this moment, it's like an MBA postgraduate. We got an MBA uh, for master, uh, I'll say should be required or not? For master, uh, I'll should be required or not? Uh, as I mentioned a few times today, uh, the, the, the university, they don't require IELTS for any type of studies. But okay. the visa application, visa, visa application, uh, the consulate, they, uh, they will ask you some, some kind of certificate of English. So that we recommend to the students uh, to do the IELTS like a 5.0, 5.5 is totally enough. Just okay. to submit the paper for a visa application. That's it. Uh, so Harpal, are you asking about the fee before visa or like after visa? What is that you wanted to know about? I'm pretty sure that the student is asking that uh, it is possible to pay the tuition fee after visa. Yes, that was his question. No, not really. You can't pay that after visa. Prior to visa, you have to pay. That's right, right? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, also, Casper, uh, I have uh, uh, Mr. Hamad, uh, who takes care of the uh, Dubai uh, Saudi office. So uh, he is also on the call right now. Uh, so I'm just wanted to introduce you to him. So, oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Hamad, uh, uh, are you there? Hey, yeah, Santosh. How about you? Good, good, good. So, uh, Mr. Casper, he's the one who takes care of the international uh, relations and admissions across the globe. So, I thought of you know, introducing to you. So, Casper, he yeah, just started a uh, for new office in uh, Saudi. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mr. Ahmed takes care of all the admissions from uh, Gulf. So, I just wanted to introduce you. Please go ahead, Casper and Ahmed. Pleasure to meet you. Same here. How things are in Poland? Actually, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's super hot. Oh, the temperature is actually right now. It's super hot. Uh, yesterday, we have election of the president in Poland. Uh, that COVID is like a finish in Poland. Basically, we don't need to uh, wear the mask. Blah blah blah. We everything is open. Uh, the students on first October they're coming back to the university, to the campus. So the situation is pretty cool. The airports are open for international flights. So. Uh -huh. It's it's quite okay. How about you? How is this the place where you are right now? 
Yeah, things are fine. Uh, not uh, so tough uh, as per the other countries. Things are uh, becoming ease slowly. Uh, I just want to have one uh, information from your side. Uh, at the moment, I, I guess some countries, maybe India, they have not started uh, international uh, flights and so on. Maybe they will start soon. But uh, if some countries, they are not uh, providing international flights, then is there any online classes going on? Yes, of course, we can provide the online studies. We also have the online studies. Uh, so for those who are like a... Uh, there's a few options of the online studies, basically. Let's say that in October intake, if there's a group of the students who are cannot come for, let's say, uh, because of the reason of the COVID-19, they cannot fly, we can provide yeah. first semester online studies. After, first sem after this semester, they can apply for a visa and they apply for a higher semester. So they can pass all of the exams online. Or also, we got like 100% online studies. Okay, that sounds good. And as everything is possible, then everything is very flexible here uh, because if my father is owner, the communication with the head is so easy. So we can do many things for our students. We can do everything fast and we can do everything properly. Uh -huh. And uh, how's the weather uh, goes around in Poland? All right now, 25 degree. I, all, without the AC, it's very hard to handle. Obviously, it's not the same like India and it never will be the same like in India. India is extremely hot <laughs> even i think right now about the india i was like become wet <laughs> but basically uh it's, it's pretty cool right now in poland we have a four seasons and uh, now it's summer uh in uh in uh, october they become autumn so the, the weather will be like a little bit raining uh but it will be beautiful around because the trees they will change the color of the leaves uh, then we have the winter. Winter starts around like November, December, minus 20 degree plus snow everywhere. And then we have a spring, spring like a 10 degree, but it's beautiful and so nice smell around of it because everything after winter is going up and back to the life. So it's all, it's pretty awesome. Sounds good. Sounds, uh, actually it's Poland, is, it's pretty full. It's like a very safety, the, the, one of the most safety country uh, in, basically in, uh, in the European Union. Uh, you for sure heard about like uh, some kind of terrorist act in, in Netherlands or France or Germany or Brussels or, 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 or some Manchester in UK or something like this. But in Poland, it never happened. It never happened and will never happen. The politics is like international politics. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite good in Poland and it makes this country very safety. There is no racism about the color of the skin or religion. There is no racism about the, the, the sex of the people. So lesbian, gays, everything is very free and very open. Uh, the people are basically become much more open mind than they was like a five years or seven years before. Good changes. Um, I also wanted to know, Casper, do we have to make a entire fee payment at a time or there is any you know leverage for paying the fees maybe like installment or something okay, like uh, that so basically when uh, the student is gonna apply when i will receive the documents of the students then i will prepare the offer letter uh there is mention for the details about the students and major of the studies what he or she or she should and there's also the tuition fee entry fee and university bank account details it means that the students are making payment of the tuition fee and the entry fee in the same time. There is no like a entry fee, then acceptation, documents, offer letter, tuition fee. We are doing everything in the same time. All right, got it. One more, one more thing, uh, Casper. Uh, I believe you know once the session is done, uh, we'll be getting the copy of uh, presentation, right? So that I can share it to the students, the presentation copy which you have done right now. Yes, of course, of course. Obviously, you can also inform all of the students that. Uh, when they're gonna apply to our university, we will send the hard copies of the visa documents directly to the students. Uh, we will send by UPS. It look much more better for the embassies uh, when the students can submit the hard copies original document. So for those who are applying, we will sending everything to the to your office Santos, and the students can be, pick up the documents from our office and submit for a visa like a hard copies original ones. Yeah, and. Uh... Let's see if I have any other questions. I guess uh, you're pretty much good. So uh, 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 I believe, uh, uh, Casper, it was helpful for you also, and also. Uh, uh, I hope so. Us. I hope so that I provide some nice information, and I you might be interesting, and I hope so to see you in Warsaw. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know. Unfortunately, this year we couldn't meet, 
but still I have the good moments and the memories we spent in Mumbai. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh never forget. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, but definitely okay, so, I need to come back when the situation will be easier for sure. I will, I will fly one more time to India and with pleasure I will provide some, some admissions spot with you, Santos, to your students. But just like a, let the situation like a slow. This time I'm, I'm going yes, to come with my team. There is another question to... from a student. Yeah, please go sure. ahead Priya. There is another question. After completing the course, am I able to get the work permit visa? Oh, that's a very good question. I forgot to tell you. Thank you so much for this question. So, uh, after graduation from bachelor degree and master degree, unfortunately not MBA, but bachelor and master, the students are able to stay between six and nine months of legal stake in Poland. This is, we call it like a graduation time. This is a special time when the students are, when they graduate, they are going to the foreigner institution in Poland, in Warsaw, and they apply for this kind of uh, term of stay, legal stay here. This is the time for search and find a well payment job. When the students will find this kind of job, uh, then the hotel go to the uh, owner of the company, to the boss, that your visa will expire soon. And after that, the company is taking care of the uh, applying for a work permit for this worker, this student. But basically, every student who will graduate between six and nine months, they can stay legally in Poland after graduation. Sounds good. So, any internships during the course? Uh, we provide many internships. It depends on the students. So we, we cooperate with many companies. Uh, we are trying to open the hospitality management right now. We are trying to, based on this, we, are, we have an agreement with the uh, Hilton by, uh, Hampton by Hilton. Uh, so, so there's like a, many opportunities, depend like a student, they cannot be shy. They just need to come to us, just like inform. We also got a work and travel program for the vacation where the students can go to some country, earn some euros, come back to Poland, exchange and have a lot much more money. So there is many opportunity. Uh, we will used to have like a from, uh january 2021 we will probably have the license for the erasmus program so we're gonna send the student we got a collaboration with few universities around of the europe in us as well so we will be able to sending students for erasmus program there is many opportunities we are still pending the point is that when the students are interested in something they want us something they just don't need to be shy just come and talk we are here for you guys basically Sounds good. So, so now, Casper, uh, I believe last time also we discussed this uh, coming to the computers program. You know, a lot of Indian kids get into computers. So I just wanted to understand where are we standing with the computers? Yeah, I, I truly understand that IT is like a number one in India of the major of studies. The point is that in Poland, when you want to provide some kind of studies, you need to have a license. To have a license, you need to apply to Ministry of Education. So basically, our projects and applying uh, for IT, it's there. It's there. We already applied for this. The point is that when we just have a hard copy of paper where it's mentioned that Warsaw University of Business got a uh, license to provide IT studies, then I will inform you and I will update all of the students about this major. Uh, all in all, I will be updating you guys about everything new. Uh, for students, I recommend that to uh, put like on our social media, Warsaw University of Business, Warsaw University of Humanities, put the like there, observe on our IG there, everything, everything new, every update, it's always there. We work a lot of on the social media. If you will have more questions, you can always contact our messenger, our profile on the Facebook, the, the lady from Facebook, she will reply you very, very shortly. Sounds good, uh, I guess there is another question from Mr. Habib. Habib, yes, can Priya, you please go Priya, ahead I and ask with, the question, uh, Habib. please? I spoke with Habib uh, and uh, he wants to know about the other country. So I told I'll take it uh, after after webinar. So this is pretty, pretty much uh, related to Poland. So that's, okay. that, that's good. So Casper, uh, I guess that's all uh, we have. And uh, I'll wait for the presentation which you did. I will you send you just, just, just when great. we finish, I will send you in one, one minute, I will send you your mail. Great, great. Okay. And uh, I hope, uh, you know, my team members already, they are on the panel list. So yes. we'll be in touch and uh, looking forward. And thanks for your time, Casper. Definitely. And that was a huge safe. pleasure. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you so much for help you guys to, to give some information to the Indian students about the studies in Poland and study on my university. I'm pretty sure that if you decide to come to us, if you decide to come to my university, you will never regret your, this decision. We're going to show you how it's like a study in Poland, but basically studies first. 
but you need to have a fun as well. So we can complete these two things together in Warsaw University of Business. Join us. Sounds good. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.